Hi y'all, it's Camille again from the Leyland Museum and we have another artifact spotlight for y'all today. Today's I wanted to focus on uh, the Colombian mammoth fossils that we have here in our fossil exhibit. Now, we did have mammoths that lived right here in Cleburne. These, well, in what was before Cleburne, before it was actually called that. And uh, the animals that we had that lived here were actually not woolly mammoths, they were Colombian mammoths. They did live during the Ice Age, which ran from about 2.5 million years ago up until 10,000 years ago. Now, here in Texas, it actually wasn't that cold during the Ice Age. We didn't have any ice. So the woolly mammoths would have been a little bit uncomfortable around here with all of their fur. It would have been a little bit too hot for them. So we had a different species of mammoths that were actually a little bit bigger than woolly mammoths. They stood about 14 feet tall uh, and they would have weighed about 20,000 pounds, which is about the weight of a school bus. So that gives you an idea of just how massive these animals were. Now, the fossils that we have from the mammoth include the tusk, which is obviously one of the most eye-catching things that we have in this display. Now, the tusk we have is not really at its full length. They could get to be about 12 to 14 feet long in an adult animal. Um, and the one that we have is a little shorter than that, uh, just because it probably got a little bit broken off during excavation. So what you see is not necessarily what would have been the entire tusk. Now the teeth that we have are pretty interesting because you wouldn't necessarily look at this and guess that it was an animal's tooth. Mammoths have kind of weird looking teeth. The part that you're seeing right here is kind of the side of the tooth. And if you look, you, you can't really get a great look at it because of the way that it's laying, but the part right over here is actually where the chewing surface would have been. If it were sitting with the chewing surface up, it would kind of look like the bottom of a sneaker. And those ridges are perfect for chewing up grass. These guys were herbivores uh, and they would, eat, they would eat grass just all day long and their teeth would be rubbing together and over time it would kind of wear them down. So mammoths actually went through six sets of teeth in a lifetime. So we only get two sets of teeth uh, with our human teeth, but mammoths got a whole lot more chances than we did. Um, and these, these teeth are pretty big, so they are probably from an adult. That last set of teeth could get to be about the size of an adult shoebox, so they could get pretty massive. They could weigh about four or five pounds. So that's just kind of some fast information about the Colombian mammoths. Oh, one last fact, they're called that because they were found in the Americas, so they're named after Christopher Columbus, in case you were wondering. Uh, but that's our artifact spotlight today for the Leyland Museum. In a minute here, we're going to head over to the Railroad Museum and do that artifact spotlight. So make sure y'all jump over to the Railroad Museum page, and we will see y'all again in a couple of minutes. Thank y'all.